Longevity Cookie. Today's episode is Black Panther. Born to the African Kingdom of Wakanda, heir to the centuries ruling of its dynasty and the ritual leader of its Panther clan. He has a bigger state now, a Marvel superhero. T'Challa returns to Wakanda to accept the throne that his father left behind and ruled. Wakanda falsely pretends as third world country to conceal the rich mineral vibranium that they possess. The child and his cousin combat not only for the royalty seat, but also dominion over by Brainium. Kevin Fage, one of the producers, said as printed on the variety that they were given the opportunity to introduce a character that has his own country of origin, culture, and agenda, and pledge no allegiance to either Iron Man and Captain America, but show to the world of the Avengers. As the story, I'm giving it a four stars. Chad Bosman as T'Challa Black Panther did good in his accent as an African man, but I give the credit of remarkable acting to Michael B. Jordan as Njidaka, Eric Killmonger Stevens, the secret cousin. He overshadowed Bosman in every scene that they were in. Jordan metaphors into a well captured villain, worthy as opponent with bitterness and anger explodes in their fight. As to acting, I'm giving it a four stars. Ryan Coogler is their co-writer and director, so his imaginative view comes with the vision of the script that's slated into a dramatic action. The cinematic presentation is artistically done during the scene where the child is crowned as a king with all the tribes present in the background witnessing it. Ryan is the gigantic reason of the success of the movie. Kudos to him. There's a scene when Michael B. Jordan is walking towards the seat of the stolen throne and the footage is upside down, giving the viewers the message that the kingdom is in turmoil and the antagonist is in control badly. As a technique, I'm giving it a five stars. It is captivating to watch the all-female special forces and the king's bodyguard. They are an embodiment of strong, powerful, brave women. It is impressive to watch the remote control car chase, a futuristic entertainment. Of course, the scenes were done on the green skins, but how they use the imaginative thinking on making it a big part of the movie that the movie goers remember them graphically. As entertainment, I'm giving it a four stars. With this, this is JV Dikoki saying, Arrivederci, paalam, adios, ciao, aloha, sayonara, au revoir. So long on my screens closing. Thanks for watching. See you on my next episode.